Hi, I'm Kaylee, and today I'm going to talk about whether or not I should include picture books in my reading goals. Since the Books for MK's charity is a charity for children, I end up reading a lot of children's books. And I do have publishers that send me picture books for review. And so every year, I don't know, I get maybe 20 or 30 picture books to review. So the question is, when I set my reading goals, when I set my Goodreads challenge, should those picture books count towards the accomplishment of that goal or that challenge? Before we get into figuring out does it count or does it not, I want to make sure that you know that Books for MKs is a charity that donates books to missionary kids. Today's MK shout out goes to Elias, who is six years old and lives with his family in Papua. Elias loves books about animals and adventure books. If you want to donate to Elias and children like him, you can do so at GoFundMe.com. And please be sure to subscribe and to click on that little bell. Some people might say that picture books don't really count towards a reading goal. I mean, a picture book is, what, 20 or 30 pages long <laughs> with very little text, mostly just illustrations. I mean, if you have a Goodreads challenge saying that you want to read 100 books this year or 200 books this year and 30 of those were picture books can you really say that you read a certain amount of books this year i mean if you tell people oh i read 150 books last year but 30 of them were picture books didn't you really read 120 books does it count does it really count <laughs> Well, I certainly don't want to misrepresent to people how many books I read, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say, yes, it does count. Um, and here's why I think it does count. When I read and review a picture book, um, I usually read it through two or three times, kind of thinking, okay, how am I gonna review this? And what is really good about the writing? And what could be better about the writing? What do I like about the illustrations and the colors they used and the way that it was drawn? Does the art style fit the story style? There are a lot of questions and a lot of thought that goes into reading and reviewing a picture book. You know, people think that just because you're writing for children, it's somehow easier, but it can actually be a lot harder to write a picture book. And it takes a lot of thought to review a picture book as well. For instance, if you've ever tried to take a story that you have and fit it into a short story, there's a reason why short stories are a fairly modern phenomena. They're not easy to write. It's hard to condense information down into a small amount, but still have that certain charm, that certain something that hooks the reader. You have to be really concise. You have to choose your words very carefully. They have to use just two or three words to paint a whole picture of an entire scene or a character or a personality in very little space. Now condense that down even further where you have maybe 20 sentences in a picture book and you have to tell a fully coherent story that is going to engage the reader and be memorable and be emotional and there's a lot that goes into picture books let me tell you if you've ever read a really good picture book some of the classics you know dr seuss good night moon the berenstain bears there are so many wonderful, wonderful picture books that I loved reading when I was a kid. And there are a lot of really wonderful picture books that are still coming out that are being published every year. And I'm so lucky to be able to read and review them. But if you've ever read a picture book that was just kind of, eh, wasn't that great. And it didn't really capture my attention. And the art style was kind of weird. Then you really start to appreciate this master art form <laughs> that is the good picture book. When you start seeing some kind of mediocre picture books or even just really badly written or badly drawn picture books and you start to realize there's actually quite a lot that goes into the picture book. 
Somebody needs to start keeping account of how many times I say the words picture book in, the, in, this, in this video. When I read and review a picture book, I take a lot of time to read it carefully and think about the story and think about the writing and the art style and the author. And then I take a lot of time to write a rather lengthy review. Most of the reviews that I write are between four to six paragraphs. And I go really in depth into why it's good or why it's mediocre or what could have been done better. The effort that I put into it, and I think the effort that the author and illustrator put into it, definitely mean that a picture book, no matter how simple, definitely counts as reading and it counts toward your reading goal. A few weeks ago, I did a poll and I asked you, my subscribers, do you think that picture books should count towards a reading goal? 18% of you said you're not sure. 20% of you said no, picture books should not count. But 62% of you agreed with me and you said yes, picture books matter and picture books should count towards your reading goal. Even if you're an adult, it doesn't matter. It totally counts. It's reading and all reading counts. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know, do you think picture books should count? Why or why not? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.